Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a widget on WordPress. Okay, so if you want to learn how widgets work on WordPress, how you can add and remove widgets. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to do that. As usual, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the article. So you can use this article as a guide um, when you're trying to add a widget. So let's get started with the video. In order to add a widget on WordPress, you have to log into the back end of your dashboard and navigate to appearance and select the widgets tab. Okay. So I'm just going to click on widgets and it's going to take us to the widgets layout here. So this is the latest version of WordPress, which is WordPress 5.8. And in this specific version of WordPress, the widget wizard has been replaced with uh, that of Gutenberg. So everything is more like a block uh, right now. So if you're used to Gutenberg, uh, this layout should be very, very familiar. Okay. So once you navigate to widgets, it's going to list all the widget areas on your theme. Okay. So a widget area is just simply a specific part of your theme where widgets can be displayed. So this specific theme has about six different uh, widget areas. We have main sidebar, header, footer, and the rest of these. So you can actually add uh, widgets to any of these uh, widget areas. First, you have to click on the arrow icon here and it's going to actually list all the widgets on the widget area and you can add more to it. So this already has some existing widgets. Uh, you can actually move any of these widgets up and down if you want. So if I click on this, you get this uh, whole toolbar tab at the top. So if I want to move this below, I can just drag and move it to any position that I want. Okay. You can also move around with these arrow keys. So if you want this up, you can click up here and it's going to take it to um, another part and you use this to drag and drop. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is this uh, um, icon allows you to move this specific widget to another widget area. So if I want to move this to the header, I just need to click header and it's going to move this to the header widget area. Okay. You can also get rid of um, a widget by clicking on this uh, three dots icon. So this actually gives you more options. So you can copy this, you can duplicate, you can remove and you can group. Okay. You can also move and insert something before or after. So these are just some extra settings. Uh, the most important thing here is the remove block and duplicate when you want to duplicate uh, a specific block. So that's basically uh, it for adding and managing your widgets. Uh, you can add as many widgets as you want. Uh, another thing you should note is these widget areas are not being displayed in every single part of your theme. Okay. So uh, you might add something to this widget area and open your site. And if the specific page is not pulling this widget area, you're not going to see any of these widgets. So the main sidebar, whenever a page has a sidebar, this is going to be every single thing here is going to be shown. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to add a new widget. So I'm just going to click on this plus sign here. Uh, right now, widgets are being called blocks. Okay. So they're no longer called widgets. So when you want to add uh, extra functionality, I feel WordPress is trying to make everything block focused. So uh, words like widgets are being phased out slowly. So this is just basically Gutenberg, um, but for widgets. So if you click on this plus sign, you get all the blocks available on Gutenberg. If I click on browse all, you can see you can just search for a specific block. So if you add in a plugin, the plugin is going to generate its own block. Then uh, there's some existing or native blocks here that you have access to even on the Gutenberg builder. So you can add a video, a file, media and text, and basically anything that you can add on a Gutenberg post. Okay. So I'm just going to add a header and let's see. Heading. Okay. So once you're done with your um, adding different widgets, you can just click on update and this is going to be saved 
um, automatically. Another thing you can do is if you click on this settings uh, bar here, you can actually get more settings for each of your blocks. So if I select this block, uh, you're going to see more information about the block here. If there's any extra setting, this is going to be listed here. Okay, so if I click on this uh, specific block, I get to change how it looks, the style and some extra settings here. So it depends on the block that you're selecting. So this is just basically everything that Gothenburg has to offer, uh, but in the widgets um, area. So that's basically it for widgets over here. You can also click on this to get a list view. So if you want to get a list view of all your widgets, just click on this icon here. You can um, undo and redo and that's basically everything here if you want to be able to see all your changes in real time you have to go to the customizer so this isn't the only page where you can add and manage your widgets if you want to see things uh in real time your changes in real time you can just go over to the customizer so i'm just going to go over to the customizer and show you how widgets works from the customizer okay so once the customizer loads up um, just scroll down and you're gonna find the widgets tab here okay so the main difference between this the widgets uh, wizard here and the back end is this specific widgets uh, uh, wizard here it doesn't show all the widget areas available on your theme it only shows the widget area that is being displayed on the current page okay so for this page we only have one which is the main sidebar and if you read here your theme has nine other widget areas but this particular page does not display them you can navigate to other pages on your site while using the customizer to view and edit the widgets displayed on those pages okay so this is the only page that has uh this widget here so if i click on main sidebar uh it's going to open the same kind of layout uh just like in the back end in the customizer so the main difference is if you make a change, so if you get rid of this, it's going to be, uh, you're going to see how it looks in real time. So that's the only difference between this and the back end. And um, it's basically the same thing, basically works the same way Gothenburg works and it's very straightforward. So that's basically for this video. If you have any questions related to widgets on WordPress, you can leave a comment in the comment section below and you can subscribe to our channel for more content with everything covered about widgets in this video i'll see you guys in the next one